Welcome back. This is Huge Richard with Fear of Hunger Terminal. It sounds getting a little crazy there. But we are going into demo version 2.4. So it's a completely new demo version, which means that my save won't be jack crap. So we're going to go ahead and go through it again like we did the last time and see what kind of changes that were made in this new demo version. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty vocal on HEO, I'm talking to Orange about like what type of um, um, glitches and stuff that are going on right now. And forgive me, you know, normally when I do these videos, my whole mantra is, is that I have a lot of drinks before I do this, so I definitely um, had my fair share of alcoholic beverages tonight, so that I can enjoy this and give you an enter entertaining uh, monologue. Um, well, without further ado, let's try this out. I haven't done any saved games, I haven't... I don't know what to expect. I haven't watched any other YouTube players play this new demo version. Uh, to my knowledge, no one else has come out with anything like this as of this point. So let's play it. See what's going on. I'm really intrigued. <clears throat> yeah, we all know that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the ex soldier again. But we're going to go ahead and do a different um, beginning here. I'm going to skip the character history. This is where we get the most stuff here. So we're going to do things different. He's going to talk about his, he's going to reminisce about his past. He's coming to his hometown and the painful memories of his dad just kicking the crap out of his mom. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to pray for a God. And the one that we're going to pray for... Uh, shoot. I think it's Venusia that is the one that gives me the... Uh, the one where I can talk to like the crows and the freaking bugs and stuff. So I don't think it's the God of Fear and Hunger. Honor, yeah. We'll try that. If it doesn't work, then, you know, we're shit. We're going to continue to do what we did before, is we're going to collect the amount of bullets. Any pistols? 10 millimeter bullets. <laughs> we're going to take the mission. We're going to take the mission, because you get gunslinger. And you get heroin and withdrawal symptoms anyway. So I'm going to stop up, stock up on medical goods. Everything's pretty much the same. And we are definitely going to skip the intro. I mean, I thought about doing the intro, but... More than likely than not, these are going to be very subtle changes. I think it's more going to be on bug fixes than any, like real story driven changes compared to what we're normally used to doing. So, that being said, we're relying on RNG. And we're going to take some advice from other people that has, I talked to others, I talked about other things that I could do. And the thing is, is that, okay, that was probably the worst RNG ever of things that I could probably get, but and we're going to go ahead and try this out. Um, one of the YouTubers that gave me advice was to feed rotten meat to the headless dogs, which I've done. The thing is, is that his, with his heroin withdrawal, it really screws him up where he's like 25% less and as far as power and speed and stamina so 
<clears throat> the reason that I shoot them is because, like, I've tested that out before where I fed them the rotten meat. And the thing is, is that it's supposed to give you two turns. It only gives you one turn with um, this guy. You know, you're really starting at a, big, at a detrimental scale with him, you know. <clears throat> so, right, the rotten meat, blah, 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 you get rotten meat here. It's just that he only attacks, he only is able to get one deal, so it really doesn't benefit him at all, like the others. So, you have to really understand that, because I've tried it before, and, and yeah, it, it's, it, it's a good logical approach, but it just doesn't work, because he's always underskilled, and the only thing that really makes him attractive is the fact that he has the gun with bullets. <clears throat> and I was also told, like, hey, you know, use the bullets for the woodsman and, you know, some of the other big guys. The thing is, is that with uh, needles, the bullets don't affect him at all. When you shoot him, it says the bullets don't affect him very much. And when you get into a fight with him, I've practiced where I put him in a bear trap and shot him, like, six times and got in a fight and he has the exact same health as he had as if I just ran into him you know which really sucks and there are um, other youtubers that have used exploits like the ghoul or the goat for some reason when the goat or the ghoul attacks him um, it kills him instantly I, I don't get it and I, I've seen it happen to me before, but I thought it was just an absolute, like, heavy glitch. And I haven't been able to recreate it. Because normally you have to have a pretty heavy RNG with the skin bible and the chalk to be able to get him right from the gate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the normal... Normal course of action here. So I like to give him two bullets, go out of range. Boom, five bullets. <clears throat> so this one actually worked because I wasn't playing stuff in the background and screwing myself up. And again, these videos, I'm going to really, um, uh, really cut them up into sections that are easily uh, palatable. Instead of doing like an hour long session, I see most YouTubers are doing like 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to break this up and get as much done within a certain amount of time um, where, you know, you're not going to lose your sense were like, hey, you know, this, you know, he's doing this for a freaking hour. I mean, I know I can barely listen to myself talk for an hour, so I can imagine what kind of crap you guys are going through listening to me talk. So anyways, we're going through the same shit. There's the fucking goat. And we're really relying on a lot of RNG here. So, you know, you're going to find in the barrels mostly food items, you know, beer, I mean, that stuff's good, every refrigerator has a wide vial in it, so, we're gonna get that, and again, you know, if I'm going too fast and stuff, I, I feel that most of my viewers know how all this stuff goes, so it's like, I don't want to insult their intelligence by, you know, being stagnant and going through all this shit, but if you want me to, I can. If you want me to read it out, I can. Again, the notes, you know, you can come here and talk about the woodsman's letter. You know, basically talks about how the goat's got a way bigger friggin' member. And, um, you know, satisfies the old woman more than he can. Which is hilarious. Considering the th his member will jump off and stick to your face. So, I don't know how much bigger it could it possibly be. So, we're going to take the key. We're going to come down here. And we are going to ram 
ransack this place. And I've gotten more shotgun shells and 12 gauge crap than I would, I've ever gotten in any playthrough. <clears throat> the trench gun actually hits like a ton of bricks, but the thing is, is that you never find bullets for it, and you hardly ever find the gun for it. You know what I mean? I don't think I have a gun. I thought I seen it. No. I found it once, and I found like one or two bullets for it in the whole game. So what we're trying to get is chalk before we come in here and the skin Bible of the Moon God, which we're probably not going to get. Alright, well, we actually got all Nera symbol. <clears throat> which on there what he does is help you with portals through town so you gotta look at the background here if you look at the the actual book itself and you see the um, carvings in the background with the red you know Christ like symbol um, that's the ones that you're going to use the symbol for to be able to get uh, portals through. And a lot of my playthroughs, I don't get this. So this is very, very unique. For this symbol to be able to recruit the goat, we're going to need the um, skin bible for the moon. So I'm not going to screw with that right now. Again... We're going to take the path of least resistance. And it's really crazy because the last section, or the last time I played this in my last video, like everything went wrong that could possibly go wrong. Because I was, I played through several different playthroughs where I, um, you know, was able to really put myself in a place where I knew exactly what I could do and um, that whole video like literally just crapped in my whole fucking mouth so that was awesome you know it was a very humbling experience and it's funny to watch other people watch me go through a part where I'm like oh man I was able to do this without ever saving with a, with a full party and it's got my ass kicked so anyways I'm still going to do this portion here, even though I'm been told not to, because I've done this in the past with the meat, and because he has the heroin addiction, it's not going to give me the ability to be able to get up on it, alright? So, coming up. Alright, that's not good. So, anyways... We've been able to get him with the one bullet. And, like, if you think that you're going to save these bullets for needles coming down here, you're fucking crazy. You're not going to be able to kill him with bullets. Again, it does no effect. I pumped several, like, you know, eight to ten rounds before when I, like, discovered bullets in, like, my best RNG run, and it doesn't affect him. The bear trap does affect him, it stops him, which is very, very, you know, like, it's, it's, it's amazing to do that. But if you don't find the bear trap within a normal amount of time, then you're going to have to go after him. And I'm probably going to have to do that here, and I might die. Which, I'm just not going to edit that out, you know, we're just going to go with it. So anyway, the reason that I'm coming over here is because this is where you can get the mechanic, or the engineer, or whatever you call it. So open it up, and she's going to instantly proc right here. Now, the thing is with her is that um, there's a big topic in this game about monsterification, which I'm very, very, like, pro into, or which I believe, so I'm going to say, let's check it out, right, so I'm always, I'm going to go with her, you know, just appease her, I'm going to be a simp, 
right now just to get her approval so that I can get her to follow me. Because I've tried to get the doctor to follow me. So anyway, you know, you heard the Eastern Union had a big underground network. I should say, yeah, it's quite something, right? You should say, it's exciting. Let's go deeper. You want to introduce yourself? Abella, nice to meet you. You can say a word about the travel. So, the big theory about this is, is that she, if you don't get her, she's the one that ha gets the elephant head and turns into a monster. Similar to the mayor on the first day where the blonde guy talks about his insatiable hunger and he turns in to the mayor the next day if you sleep. That's why you get needles in this one. Which makes sense. But, again, there's a lot of theories about it. I'm not, I don't necessarily believe that's the case. But I think it's a strong theory. And a lot of YouTubers, I'm not going to say who, a lot of YouTubers think it's a ridiculous hypothesis. I think it's worth arguing about because they say the clothes, and like the clothes are very similar. I got two green sticks, it's fucking terrible. So it's not looking good as of this point. But we're gonna we're still gonna go ahead and continue, you know. Because if we kill him, he's done. Well, I, I hope he's done, but <sighs> shit, it's gotta be kidding me. Come on, man. I've been getting the worst RNG ever. I want to see what's new within this demo. And I think it's just a bunch of bug fixes. Broom, three broomsticks. That's fucking horrible. Come on, man. Special blade. Oh, man. Alright. So. This hunger go for too long, obviously. Man, I have not been getting anything worth a shit here. So, with that being said, we've got the axe. We are just going to freaking, we're just going to have to go in there and hard hammer him. Now, I've explained this in the last video. The reason why I like the, the ex-soldier is because if you can get the heroin, it's actually a benefit rather than a detriment. You get one thing of heroin, right? So that state, that positive buff state, gets him out of the withdrawal and it actually makes it, reduces his pain tolerance so that he only takes about you know 25% less damage he has a higher speed rate I mean it's an overall buff but it only lasts a certain amount of time which that's why I use the Mario Star analogy because it only lasts a little bit I mean it doesn't make you that invincible obviously because <laughs> then I was getting my ass kicked when I thought I shouldn't so what I'm going to do is this we're just going to go for it so this is the businessman's hat. This guy's gonna be getting his fucking head cut off right here. Oh, there's a box there now. Interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and do the heroin. Okay. <laughs> 
got him. Alright. So, I was able to smoke him with that. Which is freaking amazing. So, we're going to have to find a white cloth for her, which is extremely hard to find, but, you know, I'll make it work. <clears throat> Light blue vial, amazing. That's a, that's a huge benefit to us, so. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to use that because it heals 80 health, right? So I'm not going to use this necessarily right now. I'm going to use the blue herb to heal, right? Mm, we're good. We're good. Hopefully he doesn't get back up. If I had a bone saw, I'd freaking be sawing the crap out of me. Which I think he will get up. But, you know, for right now, this is the demo. Yeah. Alright, cool. We got the rifle. 303. Shillings, which really the shillings aren't that great in this playthrough because you only get nine millimeter bullets. That's the reason why I got the gun because, for one, you hardly ever find the handgun if you're searching for it. That's why you gotta really be um, grounded from the very beginning. And again, this is the new update, so I don't know. I hate this dude. He, he could come back. I don't know. Get out of here. I'm not ready to face him again. You know, in the regular, in our original demo, it's down for good. That's about as good as a fight as you're going to get with him. Oh, shit. There's a fucking... Interesting. Chalk, which is great. She's she's hurting. So I need to get her some sort of cloth fragment. Definitely want to keep her this side. The guy's here. Searching. Get the key. And get a chance for a vote. Which is fine. That's a good vote for the guy. Nope, we're never coming back here. Alright. So, again, she's still. Sucks. Nothing over here. It's just a manifestation. So what we want to do is to avoid any conflict, right? Oh shit. Not good. 
they made it to where you can't avoid them. Crazy. So we are going to have to fight them, which is... Oh my god. Saw the heroin addiction. Holy crap, dude. Oh, Orange, you, you, you sneaky little bastard. Jeez. That is intense, man. <laughs> he brought him one square. So, now we know. Jeez. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> That's craziness. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and help her out. Give her some beer. So normally I wouldn't have any problems skipping these guys. Jeez. So <laughs> coming out of here, this guy just pass on you for you know. Being another soldier, like soldier, being your, be your best behavior, but then. It's talking crap because I'm in freaking regular shoes. Okay, so now we've experienced the difference between the two, which is the hat on the needles and the fact that it's like one square over from that little dreamscape, you, you can't just like walk past it. So. <laughs> That's frustrating. But whatever. <clears throat> so. 
so we're not really getting um, the best amount of substance here. We go ahead and do that. Get our goat, goat hoof because it does fill you up. And it doesn't uh, actually hurt you. So as far as the other stuff goes, there's recipes for the meat pie and stuff. So we're going to wait until we can find that stuff. Uh, I don't have any traps, so literally we're playing as a, like, a very difficult session. I do have chalk. I don't have the book. But I do have the ability to be able to save. So that's what we're going to do since we're already 30 minutes in. <clears throat> we're going to save here in the wood, woodsman's hut. And we're going to really test out a lot of the different um, areas that usually get propped from day one, day two, and all that with this new update. So there's been some subtle changes, things to make things harder, which, thanks a lot. It's awesome, you know? So, bed looks dirty and smells bad. Let's do that. All right, so let's go to the hexen real quick. Let's see what we got. I screwed up. This was not the right god that we're supposed to get. So I can get pyromancy trick, combustion. Alright. Fair enough. I don't know why that was doing that, but we're going to go ahead and save. So, guys, uh, I appreciate you uh, watching my video here again. Uh, comment like and subscribe i'm trying to make this channel a lot better i'm going to do this a lot more often um but i hope you enjoyed everything that you saw here um if you have any feedback let me know and otherwise i will see you here in the next episode thank you very much and see you soon